Give me a minute. Well, here we go. Assign role for minor uh, beta. Yeah. Also, we got another raiding party coming for me. That's good. Check what he got, what instructions he got. Okay. Information. Colonel Miner. Uh, he is doing free mining. Did it not clear all his orders before? Like I thought I said clear all of his orders in default. Oh, the default behavior ship is currently determined by his commander. Do no active orders in a queue auto mine. I guess he's just mining for eh, whatever. Right now he's just calculating parameters. What? What is he? Is he dragging a an asteroid around? What the heck is he doing? <laughs> is he is he dragging an asteroid around, or is there an asteroid moving? Oh no! Oh no! That's the icon telling me what he's actually doing. He's looking for stuff to mine. Okay, I'm like, what the? Uh, okay. So I assume he's just gonna do stuff. I don't know. He seems to be he seems to be listless right now. Alright, he wasn't making me a whole lot of money to begin with, so I'm okay if he kinda putters around a little bit looking for something to do. Resource probe. Yeah, I'll go to this lockbox. I don't Autopilot. know why I'm doing all these lockboxes. I don't really need them. I guess I'm hoping that I get the I get the resources I need for this for this one um, mission, so I don't have to craft them. Let me go through there. My factory there. What level is the manager? I believe he's only one star. Let me see. He is, yeah, he's like one and a quarter. And I gave him all the, uh, I have a couple two star management things. But I don't have any more one star management courses to give him. Um, I don't Can think. I yeah, I don't have I don't have any more management seminars for a one star. Over and out. Uh. 
Oh, there's a question mark there? What was that? Hmm. Might head over there to see what that question mark was. I guess I could do a I guess I could do a ping to see here. Um Oh, I can't do a while I'm autopiloting. Probably lockbox. Yeah. I figure. What's, uh. Lockbox. We're almost to this one. Autopilot disengaged. Okay. Move around here a little bit. What did I get there? Bandolier. Some more security bypass systems. Hmm. Okay. Do this and see what that got me. Uh, a whole lot of nothing, huh? All right, let's head this way. I wonder how are my guys doing in these other systems down here? Are you still patrolling? Or exploring? I don't think you're moving. You finished exploring? Yeah, you finished exploring, didn't you? Um, alright. Uh, went over here and explore that area. Move this around that way. Bam. There you go. We now have something to do. Uh, that's a two-star pilot. Yeah, well, I've I've had him uh, I've had him exploring for many moons here. So he started out as a scrub, and I've had him just exploring systems so he gets piloting skills. Uh, what is going on up here? You're not attacking any. Oh, you're a traitor. Okay. Make sure none of my guys are being attacked. My other... Where's my other guy at? I don't remember where I put him. Uh, where's the property owns? This is Scout, Black Hole Sun 5. Ah, here you are. You still, you're still scouting. All right, you're in Holy Vision. You're the one I just ordered around. This is me. Okay. What are we still missing on? Hmm. Are we out of storage? I bet we're out of storage. I bet that's what it is. Information. No, we still got plenty of build storage. What they're waiting on? Neutronics, energy cells, hull parts. Is 
So what are you waiting on? Uh, looks like maybe hull parts. No energy cells. Okay. I wish they would just tell me what they're waiting for. <laughs> Instead of just having the exclamation point there and tell you that something's wrong. Uh, did I run right past the thing here? Do Now here. Hmm. I don't see it anymore. You see that on a build screen source is needed for the building. Yeah, I... Um... Over here, right? Yeah. But it's not telling me, like... Uh, I thought before it was telling me what it didn't have enough of. Like it was a different color. No, lower. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, manage buy offers for needed resources. Okay, and then manage resources needed to complete changes. Oh, I see. Okay. It was available in build storage. So they're going... Oh, so my trader is going out to get energy cells. Offers. Okay, I knew I saw it somewhere around here. Um, but we just still need a whole lot of these. Did I, uh, you know what? They probably don't have a budget either. That's probably why he's only grabbing two. What is there? What is their budget? That is not what I was looking for. Ah, yeah, that would explain it. How much money I got? 656,000? Like a... Like a money sink here. From that. Um... <laughs> Although I should have a few more. I have a couple gas miners doing their thing. So hopefully we'll get a couple of that couple things from that coming in. Are you still uh are you still doing things? You're still moving around. Max gate distance to sell resources, gather yeah, resources. Ah, I see. He's only and he's only like a one star miner as well, so not expecting a whole lot from him. Data vault is near where I'm at, scan downwards as well. Oh, there's data vault over here, you mean? I know I, I found the one that was over this other side. Come over here a little bit. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I, that is not the first time I've done that. Not at all the first time I've done that. Um, uh, crap. Crap. I want you to stop what you're doing. And uh, delete. There you go. <laughs> I've done that so many times. I'm like, for some reason, I'm I'm ordering my own ship to fly there, and I'm like, that's not gonna work. I mean, I have a guy that on my ship to fly it, Engage. but. Wait, I just saw... Was that something there? Oh, that was, uh... Oh, here we go. I see you. Just over... Over there. Autopilot 
Disengaged. Five and three. Just over here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Unknown objects. Right there. Keep doing that, and I want travel mode. Unknown object. This has got to be a lockbox, right? It's pretty darn small. Yeah, a lockbox. Gates. Was that it around here? Hmm. Oops. Wrong thing. stars of the manager are two or higher or the stars of the pilot three or higher he will go auto mine okay is that the the uh oh so that's the manager of the of the station right because he's only one and a quarter stars See, uh, what is the that? Body yeah, the body defense platform. Okay. No, five. High tech factory. I've not really scanned anything recently. Let's see if there's anything to do here. So the manager has two stars and the pilot only one star. The manager's stars are better. The pilot has three stars and the manager two. The pilot stars will overrule the manager. Ah, I see. So in this case, um, my guy here is... What? Uh, 
He's one star. Well, barely. Yeah, combined skill. One star there. And then the manager is oh, that. Is one, yeah, okay. Docco station, buy a one star manager thing, give it to the manager, and he should be level two. Yeah, I, sh I, I could actually, I think I could even buy them on my own station too. Uh, but we're we're all so close to this one, so I can dock here and see if this has anything. Like, doesn't it tell you? It doesn't always tell you everything that it has to trade. Right? Yeah. Yep, there's a thing right there. Right away. What do you have for me? You have a competitor of mine, a little scare. Uh, not necessarily say a float. So you want me to hack? <clears throat> More than happy to pay you to land on the station and find a way to disable their storage restraints so the cargo will be dropped into space. I don't care what happens to the wares. Access storage system control panel. I mean, I haven't done any hacks before. Okay, I'll accept it. Nope. Oh, <laughs> and there there kicks off the autosave. Um I'll put it on the old list and then we'll see. We'll get around to it. I haven't had a chance really to hack anything. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the I have to uh I have to stop off at my station. I put all my hacking stuff in my storage on the station so the drones would stop harassing me every time I go around one of these stations here. Oh, I hear another one. Right on over here, huh? I'm taking a big risk broadcasting. So if you decode this transmission, are you interested in a job? Uh, we're looking to make something disappear from the station, but we can't make a move of station management. Local law enforcement is somewhat distracted. It shouldn't be fancy, just enough to make them look away on the right monitor for a few moments. Sabotaging station defenses would do the trick nicely. Argon Federation medium million destroy sabotage station turrets. That's not there's not a whole lot to that. I'm gonna decline that one. Only three hundred thousand credits. Yeah, I'll bid for three hundred thousand credits. <laughs> yeah, give me a little more meat than that. Yeah, it's also hacking. Yeah, seems to be a theme here. Okay. Where is my... There's some stuff I haven't scanned. What is the... Uh... Hmm. 
Is the one I already scanned before? I guess that's the one I already scanned before. Yeah, because I'm right up on top of it. Don't get the rap hits as long as you don't loot the stuff that dropped from the station. Oh, okay. So it's just basically easy credits without any real rep hit. Is there an easier way to scan these things? Because it feels like no matter how many times I, I swing by this module here, it takes sometimes forever to scan these. So I've got the police scanner on this on this guy. But I feel like I'm doing this wrong because every because it's like sometimes I'll pass by the same module like three or four times and it still doesn't seem like it registers. And now you just gotta fly until it hits. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. All right, well, we'll let that be for now. We have a mission. Been, you can see, though, what you missed. Yeah, I. it's in the... Um, it's in the information thing, right? If I, if I remember correctly. Wait a minute, let's, or the logical overview or whatever. Oh no, it's not in there. Where where did I see that at? In the uh, information, right? Through. Information modules. Huh. Am I not am I not looking at the thing I'm looking at? That's weird. Well I see your storage here. And then just some question marks for build storage. It's weird, there was a thing that said, that told you the information, right? That's weird. Huh. Yeah, it should be there. I, that's I. Yeah, I thought so. Um, they're back. Do the seminars work yet? Uh, like the third tab. Loadout. Yeah, it's weird. It was there because I I remember looking at it before. Um. I don't know why it's not here now. Maybe I haven't scanned enough of it? Or maybe that's a recent change that happened? Yeah, uh, I wonder if that I wonder if that's something that happened with the 3.2 release. Cuz I definitely remember seeing it here where you could look and see you'd see three question marks on things you didn't yet and scanned yet. Huh. Uh, let me, while we're here, uh, let's actually dock with this station Docking granted. and see if they've got any um, 
seminars for sale. If not, I think my guy, I think the guy, the trader on my station has some. Last I checked. Successfully docked. All right. I think. Oh, do you have anything? Do you have anything for me, dude? Hello there. Not often I see a human. You are engineering morale. Yeah. Good luck out there. And you get what you pay for, I guess. Can I help? Show me your wares. Uh, seminar for one star crew management. You have two of them. All right. Take those, and I'll take the one-star crew piloting as well while I'm here. Why not? They're cheap. Uh, also, don't I have some crystals I can sell? I do. Here, take all these. <laughs> 423,000 credits. That's fine. Uh, oh, and I got this crystal here, too. There we go. Just carrying around all this all this cash in my... Oh, and here's even some more. 501,000 <laughs> 500, credits. Yeah, I'm just toting that around in crystal form. Sure. All right. Confirm that. Good profit to you. <laughs> it was a good profit to me. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's... While we're here... Let's talk to our dude... Oh, boom. oh, we got the elevator music going. Yeah, this guy. Can I help? Do management seminar. Ooh, very nice. He's almost two stars. Not quite. Can I help? Oh, he is two stars. Why does it look like he's not quite two stars? All right, well now he's two stars. That's good. Goodbye. It looks like he's not. Oh, he's two stars on management now. That's this is the overall. Okay, I got it. Cool. All right, he's a two star manager now. Now check the miner. Okay. Where's my... Can I just see a thing for subordinates? Here it is. Yeah. Uh, here we go. No, this one. Oh wow, you can't click on that at all, huh? Okay. Uh... Your behavior. You are free mining. Okay. Yeah, he seems to be just still. I mean, he's calculating parameters right now, but it looks like he's still just free mining. And this guy is off to mine some silicon for me. Good. What did I just get? Um, my log at? Where's my log at? A you know, log book. I'm getting. I got fifteen thousand for the gas sentinel. Silicon, we're getting twenty nine thousand. 23 for more silicon. 29 for silicon. I think I have two silicon miners, if I remember correctly. 
And then the gas sentinel, hydrogen, 15,000. Not quite getting that much for the hydrogen. But it's at least something. It's got some kind of money rolling in anyway. Let's search that now. That's cool. Okay. Um, so I've got that. Go back to our ship. Oh, wrong way. Shifty. Elite Vanguard. You're in my seat, dude. Move. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, uh, all right. So I should probably do. I can do this mission, right? Is it already got me? Yeah, it's already got me. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta stop off here first. Go there first. I gotta get my. I gotta get my hacking tools. Autopilot I don't have them on me, do I? Hmm. Uh, I have a security slicer on me, don't I? I guess I don't need to stop off and get my hacking tools. Is it the security bypass system or the security slicer that I need? Did it mention it here? Uh, where the heck is it at? Seizure. Not it. Storage eva evacuation. Uh, open briefing. What did I need here? Security decryption system. Okay. What do I have? Is the bypass and a slicer. Okay. I do have the decryption system here. So, all right, we do have to head back to base. Like there's another lockbox appearing up there. Also getting some, getting a good old thunderstorm out there. So hopefully we don't, I don't lose power like I did the other day. So if I do, oops. <laughs> That is the first adult beverage I've had in weeks. Whew. Um, try to reassign him. He should find stuff now. Else, drop a resource probe. That area is full of him. You should be able to make. Okay. I'll do that. I uh, will do that. Um, you the one that was in that role? Yes. Um, okay. Let's uh, go here. Uh, nope, let's go here. Information. I guess I could have done it from that other one, too. I need more ones in here, of course. Term. Uh. Information, right? Autopilot no. Crew. Uh. You. All right. So you get a, so your role, where are you at? Remove that assignment. All right. Then, um, minor data. Okay. See what he does. He's thinking. And he just 
is calculating right now. Yeah. I'll leave him there for a little bit. Maybe he'll maybe he'll come up with something. Solar power plant docking granted. Ooh, a little, little too fast. A little too fast. There we go. Successfully docked. All right. Let's see. So decryption system is what I need. It's an honor to have you aboard. Science. Ooh. Science lab. Now you should get auto mine with material in you know, one sector to find and zero sectors to sell. Um, yeah, maybe I need to, like you said, maybe I need to drop another resource probe around. Encryption module. I have five of them. I'm just going to take two of them in case I somehow botch it. Elite Vanguard. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's go here. Let's get this autopilot going. Engage. Whoop. Whoop. That's that's not that's not working. That's not working autopilot. That's not working. <laughs> I'm still in steering mode. That's the problem. Right now. All right. Now autopilot. Engage. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's see what he's got. Wait, has he got... Oh, is he... He's filled up on silicon. Maybe that's why... Is, that the... is this the right guy? Yeah, you know, he's full on... He's full on silicon. Maybe I need to tell him to go get rid of his silicon first. Or is he mining silicon right now? Brand exchange for... I think maybe... Yeah, yeah, I gotta tell him to go sell that probably. That's probably what's going on. Alright, let's remove this. And... and then I'll tell him to go... Where do we, where do I tell, how do I tell him to like, go sell his stuff? Behavior, um. I have to actually right click on a station. Yeah, I can tell him to trade with this guy. He wants, yes, he wants silicon. Okay, trade with him and get rid of all your silicon. There you go. There we go. Little, little on the job debugging. <laughs> So he is should be docking now. I guess he'll let me know when he's done. I kind of want to keep an eye out and see if I see any sparkly glowies here. See any shinies? I 
They did, um, which I'm very happy about. They did make some fixes to the autopilot because the autopilot was having a, a hell of a time getting through the system. And now it's actually working its way around asteroids and stuff a lot better now. The menus are overwhelming. They are, yeah. And it's, you know, I know they're trying, and I give them props for having a, a menu for everything, but um, they really ought to, like, figure out how to organize them a little bit better. Um, like, honestly, I don't see a reason why you couldn't throw all that stuff under a right click menu or something like that. I mean, uh, there's a lot of stuff there too, I guess. I What would be really funny, um, I don't know that this would work <laughs> ultimately, but I uh, back in the day, there was a, a game called uh, Star Trek Klingon Academy. System, billion. And it had this really interesting menu navigation where you were sitting on the bridge of your ship and everything was basically the number pad. You would just say like, you know, one, three, three would like raise your shields or something like that. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they tried something like that here. I suspect it wouldn't work so well because a lot of things are interconnected here. Um, but if they had something like that where you could just remember, oh, if I want to go see what behavior is for this guy, I got to go, you know, one, two, five or whatever. Um... I don't know if I, it, that might work. I, I, I don't I don't proclaim to be very good at the UI stuff. Because my job involves cramming as many buttons onto a web page as possible. <laughs> and still making it not be overwhelming for for the user. <laughs> that's, that's about all I can do. <laughs> Uh Entering system. Silent witness. Okay. So let me go to the Arc Animator Converter Factory. Alright. Autopilot. Engaged. Boom, boom, boom. And I think, too, um, the other thing that kind of throws me off a bit is like when I like when I started the stream tonight, it was I just didn't know what I was going to do next. Like, I know what my long term goals are. Um. You know, as far as get a big ship and, you know, fight the war stuff and all that stuff. But, like, I'm in one of these sort of, I feel like I'm in an area where, um, I feel like I'm at a spot where, um, I'm kind of in a lull. Like, I'm in... Like, I, I need, you know, I need credits and stuff, and I just need to sort of do stuff to eventually further my way down the path, um, and try and figure out what exactly to do in order to make that happen is what's been sort of boggling me a little bit. Because I know there's a lot you can do in a game, it's just... What is the most efficient use of my time? Engineering section. If I can get in the engineering section with nobody in here. Nobody in here? There's nobody in here. Uh, okay. Wait, which control panel do I sabotage? Where do I sabotage? Over here, somewhere. Uh, 
have a security decryption system already, game. Right? Oh, I have a decryption module. Wait, what? Did I pick up the wrong thing? I picked up the wrong thing, didn't I? I wonder if I have enough on me to craft what I need. Uh... I need more heuristic cores and air fishing. <clears throat> Didn't have a security decryption system. Can I help? Here you go. Goodbye. Is there a bar on this place? No. Hmm. I thought Vanguard. I had the right stuff on me. That's a that's that's another problem. They name some some things very similar, and it's like, no, you need a security decryption system, not a decryption module. <laughs> like, well, could you please name that something else <laughs> so I don't get confused constantly? Uh, all right. So it doesn't help that there's like three different things too. That you have security slicers and bypassers and encryption systems and all kinds of stuff. I don't know if I. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back here. I don't know if I have Engage. all the stuff for the encryption module. I, mean, I did. I did keep some of the AGI cores and stuff that I had, um, just in case I needed to craft stuff from them. But maybe I have those. Yeah, there is a lot of hotkeys to remember. It's um, it doesn't help too that I'm playing like lots of different games. So, like for instance, in this one, the select the closest target is, the select the closest enemy is Shift E. To select the closest enemy in Starpoint Gemini 2, which I'm also playing, is R. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, try to keep all those things in your mind as you're, as you're jumping between games is, is, uh, is a little bit rough. Um... Yeah, it does have a steep learning curve. I, 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 and I don't think it's just limited to this game either. I think uh, most of the X games that I've looked at have a steep learning curve on them, um, because I know that I've I've bounced off of every one of them, and it's only through me just forcing myself to just brute force this and just learn whatever I can. Like I did some Google searching, and there you get a few things here and there. Um, their, their wiki was really annoying. Like there's this whole wiki set up and it's, you know, for, um, the X series. I think they had X3 on there they had X4 and, uh, you go on the X4 section it's like, oh, here's a manual and all that stuff. And you look at some of the pages and some of the pages are, are just blank. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. You guys made the game and you can't even keep your wiki up to date on what's in the game. Um, so, and then the encyclopedia is even more annoying because you've got this in-game thing that should tell you stuff, but it only shows you entries that you've unlocked and not, you know, everything. I feel like this to me... I think has the same problem that I had with EVE Online until recently, um, relatively recently, 
Like relatively recently, Eve Online. Oh, that's that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Autopilot epically failed. Okay. Thanks a lot, designers. Thanks a lot, devs. <laughs> well, that's a thing. Um, <laughs> I, I think I just found an Easter egg. So, um, yeah, the... I don't even know where I was going now. That that just completely threw me off. <laughs> I don't even know what I was what I was saying. Um, yeah, I, uh, with Eve Online, they introduced a while ago. I'm sure. I I just recently found it. Um, like career paths, where they'll give you a series of missions, like five or six missions that kind of introduce you the different careers that you can do in the game and it's nice because it just kind of gives you that little handhold just at the beginning so you can see how to do things and then it lets you loose right and then you can go look at other careers you don't it doesn't lock you into anything you could just do that i think this game needs that i think it needs like here's like a one or two tasks for mining and here's how mining works and here's one or two tasks for you know building your station which they actually have so that's fine you know and here's how that works and you know, here's how you, here's how you capture ships and here's how you hack things and here's how you do this. And just like one little, like little easy things that you can kind of just pick up and be like, Hey, you want to be a hacker? Hey, you want to be a scrapper? Hey, you want to do this? This is going to hurt too, isn't it? Jeez Louise. Banging me off of everything here. Luckily it didn't do any actual damage to my shields or anything. Huh. Your career in EVE Online is ganker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I only played a little bit of it. I didn't play a whole lot. I, I sort of... I like what was going on there. But I... Um, the problem that I ran into was that I was... Uh, you kind of get into that situation where it's like, okay, I got to go do something... And so you just kind of let it run on autopilot and it's like, oh, I'm just going to mine something. And you just kind of look away and you do something else and you come back. Um, and I was getting constantly destroyed, even in like low sec or I mean, uh, high sec, uh, space. Like I was just getting completely destroyed left and right. Cause I would just put the game down go like put a load of laundry in while it's mining. <laughs> and then I come back and be like, you're dead. Like, oh man, I gotta rerun those early missions again to get that, to get that, uh, to get that, uh, ship again and all that stuff. <laughs> so I kept, ended up with like, back into the escape pod and then redoing the, the first mission to get the, the ship again and, yeah. That kind of that kind of lost my interest there because yeah you know, I like I like what was there but it was it was not um, it felt more casual than it than it actually was and that's kind of I, I needed something a little more casual I could just kind of look away from then I found uh, a game I can't think of the name of now but it's basically Eve Online it's basically single player Eve Online. And that works too. But do I not have this? Security? I thought I had crafted one. Yeah, here we go. Security decryption says I knew I crafted one. Or in this case, five. Let's take two of those. I knew I had crafted that once before. It's just. Yeah. <laughs> GSF only in high sec. You want Eve now, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I haven't I haven't played Eve in, in ages. So I well and to be fair, I didn't really play Eve. I I I, I dicked around in it for about 
two weeks or so. And then I was like, eh, okay. I see what this is about. Because I had always avoided it, avoided it uh, previously because I'd heard it was it was spreadsheets in space. And now it's it's better. It's not necessarily spreadsheets in space unless you want it to be. Um, but I... Yeah, I, I kind of wanted it to be more casual than it actually was, <laughs> is what it ended up being. Like, I wanted to just, like... I wanted it more like this, where I could, like, take my hands off the controls from time to time, let things go. If I wanted to in here, I could kind of sit around, just let my miners go off and just keep making me money while I'm just kind of sitting here staring at, you know, what could be a, a desktop wallpaper. <laughs> um, oh, that is the end of that. So, that's that. That would that ex sums up my my Eve experience. <laughs>